Resistance is futile. As I watch wind-driven snow billowing up into phantasms of white enigmatic shapes, I sit considering my situation. Two weeks ago, I made a life-shaking decision to return to the town of my birth. I was stalled out and rummaging around in a life that I was not enjoying, except for the few minutes of respite as I lay in bed at night. So, it was time for a change. I began an online fundraising campaign to pay rent in a house in Kansas, procure a vehicle that would probably make the trip, and funds to set up housekeeping, since I had no furniture, no kitchen equipment, or bed. Several folks pitched in, and with substantial help from a couple of family members, I was on my way. This entire undertaking has moved along as if independent of my particular input, and only when I resisted a certain way it was supposed to unfold did problems and apparent obstacles suddenly appear. I resisted losing my vehicle, and shortly it was gone. I resisted traveling in, quote, the dead of winter, end quote, and shortly there was eight inches of snowfall. I resisted my online business tanking, and shortly sales were non-existent. This led to deep doubts, anxieties, and thousands of tiny uncertainties. I began to come around to just letting go of control. Resistance, after all, is simply a control play. The universe knows what I have intended and has set about delivering my desires. Who the hell am I to question how it comes into physical reality? Not my monkeys, not my circus. I guess the hard part is making the tiny day-to-day choices that seem to ride up on me for approval or disapproval, and since they all have to do with how it's coming about, I wonder if my choices are inadvertently delaying the outcome or outright blocking it. This is despite going with what feels like my gut, and despite outright muscle testing and heavier light evaluations. The nagging monkey mind concerns and niggling worries were taking the fun and adventure out of the adventure. Every signpost and signal seems to be indicating smooth sailing, and yet here I sit with a tight gut, fearing the worst and just wishing it was over. Jeez, has life really beat me down so much that I can't enjoy any part of realizing my desires and dreams? Mm, Maybe. That iconic speech by John Goodman uh, in The Gambler movie where he lectures a gambling novice. I mean, do you have a problem? Wah, 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 like some little fucking girl. Wah, 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 or some Somali who can't process that there's no food where they live? Or are you just fucked up temporarily because you're temporarily fucking stupid? It makes me laugh, yet at the same time it makes me feel like I just leaped off a cliff and all the doubts and worries are suddenly cancelled by the reality of what I've just chosen. It's on, and it's going to happen whether or not you're on board, buddy. So, I believe there is a chance for some equanimity here. There is comfort in the truth that all is truly well, and it's okay to have what I desire. Resisting the hows and how comes is a hollow, futile exercise in personal control dramas. The key is to relax and enjoy the ride. The quantum particles and waves have been set in motion and are merrily going about their duties, delivering the very thing I originally thought was such a great idea. Well, it is a great idea, damn it. That's my reality, and I'm sticking to it. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.